Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So today, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna try to change the um, the brake pads, okay? Because these brakes, I mean, look look at this. Look at all the brake dust is producing. And this is the that cleaned at the same time. Okay, this one's kind of dirty, but not so much. But I, I mean, it's my car is dirty overall. I don't know how the camera does, makes it look, but my car is filthy. But before I wash it again, um, we're gonna go ahead and change the brakes. So I'm gonna bring it in the garage, probably turn it around. Never changed brake pads before, so this should be interesting. We'll see if we can knock it out. I think it should be something that I can I can handle and knock out. So stay tuned. Um, the only thing I don't have is um and i think i'll be able to show you on the brakes is see the the brake right here has a punch like a, a little thing right there i don't have a punch tool so i'm just gonna try to see if i can grab an allen key or something and punch it out that way and then obviously once i get the, the rims off i'll go ahead and and wash uh the wheels and clean them up so when i put them back on uh, they're good to go. So we'll try to knock all that stuff out. now okay one out of here All right, so we got all the lugs out. Let's go ahead and take the wheel out. Roll it out here. And show you the wheel. Right now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just start spraying it with cleaner. So 
it can set and then we'll spray it down um, in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna spray it down with uh, Gruitz Garage um, heavy duty wheel cleaner. This takes a lot of the brake dust off. So we're gonna go ahead and spray it down. Okay. And this stuff is, you know, biodegradable, so it's not gonna harm uh, the environment or anything. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the inside part of the wheel. Cause that part I rarely ever clean. Cause we're gonna test and see how, let me put this camera down. We're gonna test and see how clean these uh, calipers will lead the wheel, so, all right. And we'll just let that, we'll just let that set for a little bit. Now let's take a look at the, the wheel, the caliper right here. Okay, so right now, I think I did find some tools that can help me out. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna punch these two out and then we're going to uh, start uh, working on the, the brake pad. Let's go. All right, so let's see if we can do this easy. Okay. Okay, now let's get a, a skinnier punch so we can pop it out the backside. So this is basically what we're doing, okay? So we're gonna punch both of those out. Um, we're taking it out right here and right there. We're gonna undo this bolt right here. Should be a 13 millimeter screw. Uh, bolt I mean and then we're gonna go ahead and take this part out and then take the calipers right out what I should have done was move the uh, The wheel turn the wheel so we might do that right now um, Before we get started All right, so I was able to turn uh, the wheel so now I got more room to work. So like I mentioned before uh, We're taking out This pin right here, which is that push pin we're taking out this middle bolt and we're taking out the pin in the bottom. So three pins and then we take out this bracket and then pull the brake pads out. All right, so I think I can use this smaller. Uh... And... Let me uh, go ahead and try to find another. All right, so we got it out for the most part. Okay. All right, 13 millimeter bolt. Then we'll start taking the pads out and then I'll show you guys uh, the new pads. All right, so let's loosen it up. Okay.
here's the bolt came out let's go ahead and start wiggling these pads out start taking these pads out brake pads let's get the other one out shoot this one should be easier take it out All right, so we got the brake pads out. Um, I've heard of these pistons being the issue, putting them back in, so make sure they're pushed in all the way. All right, and then now let's take a look at the new pads. These are the old ones, so a lot of meat left, so obviously I'm gonna keep these. Um, just in case yeah. All right, so you first open it up. It has all the braking instructions um, Basically um, Important information that you need to do after you install the brakes uh, Drive aggressively five different times deceleration So you're gonna go 40 miles an hour and decelerate to 10 miles an hour um, hard Braking and then you're gonna go ahead and do it at 35 to 5 moderate braking and then uh, uh drive slowly to cool down your brakes for five minutes um this is to even out the brakes so you don't get any warping or unevenness okay so let me just show you what comes in here so in here we have replacement clips um if i didn't want to use this clip which i might still end up using this equipment and just maybe keeping this one um more clips and pins so brand new pins um in case anything happens to your pins so that's pretty cool and then here are the brakes uh this is some extra lubricant uh so you can put on this side of the brakes uh so it doesn't uh you know cause any uh warping or any damage to your rotor okay so uh let me go ahead and knock it out all right so this is the new brake pad the extreme power sport or power stop sorry and this is the stock one so if you didn't know the new one is ceramic uh carbon ceramic uh these are the parts that we're gonna go ahead and apply some lube on and then we're just gonna go ahead and insert it all right so we're gonna go ahead and insert the first brake pad Boom, there's one. All right, let's go ahead and insert the second one. Bam, sitting good. Okay, now let's put in the bolt. Basically reversing the steps. And I gotta double check because I didn't see any uh, poundage. Pounds. Okay, it wasn't that tight when I took it off actually let's go ahead and just clean this bad boy off before we put it back on all right so we're gonna go ahead and start pushing the pin through line it up move the 
align the pad so that the pin comes straight through. Okay, because that's what's going to help hold the pad. And then we're trying to. There we go. And let's guide it through. You're just trying to guide it right back through slot. So you might have to move the pad to align it back up. Okay. And lined up good. And then Bottom. All right, so let's try to push this down, push the pin in, hammer it in. And there it is. All right, so got it done. Push the pin in, put the brake pad in. Easy peasy. The wheel, um, I'll do a fresh cleaning of it later on after I'm done. I just wanted to get a lot of the dirt off. So we'll go ahead, mount the wheel, and then we'll start with the process on the next wheel. Let's go. All right, so I got the wheel back on. Um, both brake pads put on. Uh, so first try doing something like this. Um, I think it's it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. I, like I think this, so it took me a little while. It took me about 45 minutes just to do the first uh, wheel in total. But uh, I think it's because I was kind of like looking to see what to do and then figuring out what tools to use and so on and so forth but now i have them set aside i know kind of like some little tips and strategies and i think it'll be a lot smoother for the second wheel and then the two in the rear which are pretty simple as well so just uh some more information on them so i'll go over the break in and probably a, a future video but for now uh torque down the wheels and for the brakes I would say if you don't have a punch tool, um, so I didn't have a punch tool per se, but I did have a, uh, basically a socket set and it did have like punching style uh, things. So I was able to, to do that. And I was able to use an Allen key uh, to start um, pushing it up, pushing it in. And then I used a wrench to go ahead and like grab it from the backside and, and help hammer it out. Um, it's not too difficult. Just have to, just got to muscle it in and uh, take it apart a little bit. So uh, nothing too crazy to do. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the other wheels. Um, I'll probably have some fast footage of doing the other set um if you guys got any questions make sure you guys drop them in the comments and let's go all right so i should have recorded it not gonna lie 
Uh, the second one, literally, less than four minutes, I was in and out, pads out. Um, one thing I did notice, I just wanted to show you this. Look at the, the pad. This one right here, worn out. Look at that, on the corner right there. Um, let me double check the other pad. Um, the other ones gunked up or ate up right there in the corner as well. So, um, that's uh, one thing to note. But now that I got the hang of it, it was pretty smooth. Um, go ahead and put the pads back in. And then what I might do is I might just show you video from the rear to see if it's any different or, uh, you know, any easier or anything like that. So let's go. All right. Let's open up the rears. Same instructions on here. More clips, more pins. More lube. And the rear pads and I stayed Z26 all the way around uh, I know some people do Z23 but I just kept it the same um, so it should be pretty I think the same so we're gonna go ahead we'll check the rears and then let's go all right so here we go so we took the rears um, rear wheel off just show you the four piston in the back and basically this one is looks Pretty simple. I didn't actually see any like videos or anything, but based off of what I just did, it looks pretty simple. Looks like one, two pins, clip comes off, take both brake pads off um, and put them back on. So you saw how dirty my front ones were. I, I'm telling you, I cleaned them both at the same time. Look how spotless this is. The front ones produce so much dust and dirt. Um, so hopefully this also keeps it clean as well and um you know provides the same amount around the same amount of performance all right so let's uh let's begin all right so let's see if this one is uh easier or simple or uh, like i think it might be i think this is too big so all right so this one looks pretty simple let's see if we can uh do this one a little bit go ahead and add some lubricant okay One. All right, so boom. I needed this angle, so I had to move the camera uh, to push this one in. But that, the rears are really, really easy to do. So, um, just had to switch the Allen 
that I was using to make it go that w I needed a smaller one, a skinnier one to go through. But pff, super simple for the rears. Um, changed both of them out. About to do the other side um, in a sec. But uh, get up. So all in all, look, I'm not the best. Uh, I don't know what you would call it. I'm not a mechanic, right? So, but I was able to do this in my house, in my garage. Um, you are gonna need a, you know, basic tools to do this, but it's not nothing out of this world. Um, I think I asked a shop to, to install these and they were gonna charge me 200 bucks. So I just used the stuff I already had and I just bought the pads. So I did it myself, saved me 200 bucks. Uh, all in all, I started uh, two hours, two and a half hours ago. And basically, it takes a little bit because, you know, the first one was my first time doing it, messing with it, trying to figure out what to do. And also, I'm trying to film stuff. So it's going to take a little bit of time. The second one took me about 25 minutes. And then the rears, um, I actually just recorded it and showed it to you. So now when I go do the last rear, I should be out of there in like five minutes or so so um pretty simple to do um so if you guys got any questions um post it in the comment section um and with that being said stay tuned stay safe stay blessed out